Salam and Astelin. Today I am making a tortilla lasagna. It's cheesy and delicious. If you guys like the sound of this recipe, make sure to stay tuned. Sorry for posting this video a little earlier than expected, but it's because I'm going to be a little bit busy in the weekend. First, we're going to dice four mini bell peppers. Next up is cilantro. Most of the time I use parsley, but today I wanted to change my herbs up and now I'm using cilantro. If you don't have cilantro, you can always use parsley because they do taste the same. to be putting it into a small dish because I don't want it to mix with the other vegetables. Next up is dicing one full red onion. You can always use white onion as always, but red onion just gives it more flavor to the food. Take out your nonstick pan, and you have to use a nonstick pan so it doesn't stick to the pan, or else um, the lasagna will like fall apart. And drizzle a little bit of oil. We're gonna start by sauteing our red onion. Next up, we're adding about half a pound of ground beef. While the meat is cooking, we're gonna season it up with some salt a little bit of black pepper. Of course, we gotta add the oregano. If you didn't know, I haven't used Italian seasoning in any of my recipes, but today we are using some because I wanted to try it out and see how it tasted. So, Italian seasoning is going in. Lastly, we're going to add some ground cardamom. Ground cardamom is used in a lot of Ethiopian recipes when we are using beef, so that is why I'm adding that right now. Also make sure to add a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder is one of the seasonings that I use a lot in my recipes because it adds a very big kick of flavor to the food, which is why I add it to most of my recipes. Now we're going to take out our larger nonstick pan and drizzle a little bit of oil on it. I'm using this green tool that I got from my cousin and I'm just brushing around the oil. The order of this lasagna is the tortilla, the meat sauce, the bell pepper, any type of cheese, and then you're gonna add a little bit of your cilantro.
going to cover and cook for about 15 minutes. Once it's done, we're going to take it out and put it on a large platter to serve. Mine did burn on the bottom, so make sure you're looking out on it so it doesn't burn. But all I did was just peel off that layer of tortilla that did burn and ate the rest with my family. It looks very cheesy. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Mmm. Delicious. You should definitely try this recipe. Um, yeah. Amasa Ganalo. Thank you for watching this video today. If you guys liked it, make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.